fun? Run the bases. Trust me. Yourself. Better that way. Oh, here we go. Quiet, Yuffie. All right, you. Tell me, Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? Makes you want to cut your own ears off. It's not that bad. Bah! You don't know what you're talking about. This DJ Travis, he is bad for our business. He makes all the customers unhappy, so we must turn off radio. Vadim! It's true! Don't listen to my brother! Someone needs to get rid of him! We need a new DJ for the radio! I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. That's a horrible idea. I tell you, it would be easier than you think. You just have to talk to... Uh, you just have to talk him into following you out of town. All right. That's enough. Vadim isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. He seemed pretty serious to me. No, no, no. He, he was only kidding. Right, Vadim? <laughs> it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job, or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Well, something like that could be tough to change. No, it's easy to fix. I tell Yefim over and over, go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Beat it. Hi there. You can order drinks and food here or at the... Okay, let us get down to brass tacks. I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother! Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ever been in bar fight? Haven't met a man I couldn't lay out. Excellent! Because you are going to help Travis win his first fight. Uh... I want to stage fight here in Dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? I'm on board. When do we start? Why not soon as possible? I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a dive for money. They confront Travis here at Dugout. You step in and give him push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? Yeah, it's too late today for me to arrange. You come back tomorrow evening after 6 o'clock and everything will be ready. Oh no, whatever it is, keep it to yourself. Better than This better be an emergency. You're bothering me. Hey. 
Need a room? Hey. Over here. Hold position. for a drink I don't like you and I don't like your radio what you gonna do about it <laughs> yeah ever seen a Meyer lurk <clears throat> think a crab look, cross with the look I don't want any trouble I don't like you and I don't like your radio what you gonna do about it you tell him hey there maybe pal. I don't like oh, your little radio you. program what you have everything to okay say here that. does it look okay because no, it is not. I don't... I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Why not stand up to them? No, I mean, no. That would be bad. With these men, it could... Well, it, it, it could turn violent. Don't you want this to stop? Yes, but... Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... Well... Okay, that's... You look tired. Well... Need a room? That's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said, that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Um... Nah, I don't think so. I... I mean it. Leave me alone! Well, sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? I'll... I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Nice pip boy. Oh, uh, um. Hi. There. Travis. Whoa. I, I can't believe it. We did it. I knew you had it in you. I can't. I can't believe it. You were right. Oh. I've. I've got things to do now. Listen, really, I, I can't thank you enough. I think that went well. Poof, 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 poof. <laughs> Ready for the next part of foolproof plan? It's not more fighting, is it? No, no. This part is simple. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. Oh, that'll totally boost his confidence. You know, as long as it doesn't backfire horribly. So little faith. 
It will work. Trust me. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? I ain't your friend, Scaver. If you don't live here, you ain't nobody. Got it? A dad says not to talk to strangers. Wanna do something fun? Run the base. Miss? I'm on a break right now. Sorry to have bothered you. Uh, no problem. I'm on a break right now. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Uh, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. Yeah? You think? I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I... Couldn't just go over there. What are you so nervous about? What's the worst that can happen? Believe me, I can think of some pretty horrible things. Look, I'm just not ready for that. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him. And I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. Hope you didn't run into any trouble getting here. That bridge across the river? Oh, wow. You're tall. You'll get used to Diamond City security being unhelpful. Hey, Just you think? Like I this do. is terrible. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. Take it easy. It'll be all right. Just tell me what happened. They took him. They took Vadim. Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back. Said Vadim owed the money, that they had a deal. He, he wouldn't pay, and that they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out. You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. Do you know where they took him? No, I don't know. He's the one that uh, has always dealt with them. I've tried to avoid them. Travis might know. You should ask him, please. Hurry. I don't want anything to happen to Vadim. See what you have. Anything and everything. Dugout, and Yefim thought you might know where Bull took him. What? That's... that's not a funny joke. Like, at all. Ugh. You 
who think this is a joke. Well, it's not. I'm serious. <laughs> Wait, what? Really? Oh, oh man, wow, is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... It's my fault. No, Travis, this is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Look, I don't, I don't really... I mean... I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm going to help get him back. All right. I'd welcome the help. Good. I didn't... I didn't want to have to argue about it with you. I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brewery. We've got to go in there, show them we mean business, and, and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll, I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. I'm on a break ring. Thank God. You're here. So this is it. Odds are if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... We're gonna be okay, right? Definitely. We'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Good. I mean, I can do this. Totally. Any, uh... Any last minute advice? I've never done anything like this. I go in first, and you stay behind me. Watch my back. Okay. Whatever you say. Oh, my God. 
I'll give you that one. Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are a true friend. You're an idiot for dealing with these goons in the first place. Fine. Was not smartest move ever, but all is better now. <laughs> these idiots had caps and cams just lying around. <laughs> they they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Ah, and Travis, I am surprised to see you here. <laughs> hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. Ahem. <clears throat> Man. What a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. You came through it all pretty well, Travis. That's good to hear. Thanks. After all this, I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems... silly, you know? Like... Was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you.
Good to see someone new in the chapel. Diamond City treating you all right? Well enough. For your sake. I hope things aren't always just well enough. We take pride in making things a little better each day. Could be the same for you. Now, if you ever need a quiet place to sit down and ponder the Almighty in whatever form strikes your fancy, we're always open. Thanks, Pastor. Feel free to make yourself at home. What? Nice pip boy. What? Keep walking. I'm the chapel's always open if you... You can't stop the press. Hi there. Hey, mister. That interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. Come on, Darcy, let's go. Take it easy. I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul, why do you always have to make a scene? Pour me another drink, Henry. Damn it, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home later. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, goddammit! You'd better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch! Don't hurt him, Henry! Yeah. Uh. Go on. Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy. Taking care of our son. Sorry I had to see that. Things are usually a lot quieter around here. Perfect place to drink, if you're buying. What was that argument about? Uh, nothing much. You see, Darcy here likes to relax and enjoy life from time to time, and her husband Paul doesn't. He's not a bad guy, really. Just a little uptight. Too bad he can't learn to relax, huh, Darcy? Shut up, I don't come here to talk about Paul. You there! I haven't seen you in here before. Why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a drink or something? You don't look like you need another drink. Aren't you all high and mighty then? Why don't you get lost so I can drink in peace? Lighten up, Darcy. This isn't your own private bar, no matter what you might think. Anyway, I got a bar to run. Ordering?
So is this your place? That's right. Owner, bartender, sympathetic ear. I try to provide a little oasis from the hardships of life. Name's Cook, by the way. Henry Cook. Let me know if I can get you anything. Not interested. Let me know if that changes. Read that interview you gave. That thing you said at the end about having hope. Good on. You need a haircut. Talk to John. Hey. Super hey. You there? I am. Um... I have a question for you. What do you want? You were in the tap house before, when... You got beaten up by the bartender. Yeah. Good old Henry Cook. Everybody's best pal. Especially Darcy's. I'm supposed to pretend I don't know he's sleeping with her until he decides he's bored with her and she comes crawling back home to me. Sounds like a tough situation. You don't know the half of it. But I'm not gonna just sit here and let Cook steal my wife and destroy my family. I'm going to go back and talk to him, and I want you to come with me. You saw? He won't take me seriously otherwise. I don't want to have to really hurt him, I just want him to leave Darcy alone. You're going to have to make it worth my while. Uh, well, okay. I can only pay you 80 caps right now, but I'll scrape together more after we take care of Cook. This'll work better if I talk to Cook by myself. You're probably right. I am so angry at Cook, I might lose control. Just get him to leave Darcy alone. I'll make sure Cook gets the message. Good. Don't kill him if you don't have to, but otherwise... I don't care what you do to him. He deserves to suffer for what he's done. You ain't gonna last once you leave the wall, so don't get you. I wanted so much more from my life than this. Ugh. Hey, you that traitor up from Quincy? I'll meet you there then. Don't be late. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I just have to close up. Hi. Are you lost? We need to talk, Cook. Oh yeah? Is there some kind of problem? Are you sleeping with Paul Pembroke's wife? I really don't see what business it is of yours who I'm sleeping with. Paul asked me to talk to you, so here I am, asking nicely. And I'm asking you, nicely, to turn back around and go tell Paul to come talk to me himself, if he's man enough. Last chance. Are you gonna stay away from Darcy or not? Take it easy. We can talk this through. This whole thing with Darcy and me. Bad idea. I admit it. Not like I planned it or anything. She was just always hanging around here. You know how it is. Look, tell Paul it's over. I swear. I won't even let her in my bar anymore. Is that good enough for you? A promise to be good? That's your offer. You're right. It wouldn't be enough if I was in his shoes. I have an idea. Something I've been thinking about for a while already. Kill two birds with one stone, you know? What's the idea? Here's the deal. I have some other, um, businesses on the side. One of them is helping Nelson Latimer spend his dad's money to make himself feel like a gangster. Who's Nelson Latimer? Malcolm's kid. An arrogant little pissant. But useful, since he has all the money in the world, and likes to think of himself as a budding crime boss. 
Me and Nelson are supposed to be meeting some gentlemen from Good Neighbor to exchange Nelson's cash for their chems. My plan is simple. We take the money and the chems. I'm in. Let's do this. Now you're talking. I promise you won't regret it. In a few hours, we're both going to be sitting pretty. You hear Travis lately on the radio? <laughs> now a swatter. That's a real one. You have the right idea. Our oh, yeah. only way to travel. Nelson's starting to think he doesn't need me. I'm sure Trish won't hand over the chems until I get there. You see, I'm the one she trusts. Sure, he'll be here any minute. Yeah, well, he better be. This is bullshit. Uh, 
That's Come on, man. man. I'm starting to get serious. Here. Here. Oh, Why do we need stuck. Cook anyway? I got the money right here. Uh, you do, now. huh? I'll keep that in mind. You better get the fuck out of here if you know what's good for you. What's going on here? Nothing to do with you. Unless you want your face blown off. Got it, asshole? Are you gonna hand over the money in chems, or do I have to kill you? Are you serious? Kill this asshole! Moroski was gunners, okay? You can trust me. And uh, uh, I'll give up Moroski's chem lab. This here? <laughs> this is nothing compared to what he's got stashed there. Go on. Where do you think these chems come from? We've got a lab. Right here in the Commonwealth. But you'll never find it on your own. Not without my help. Tell me what you know first. Well, okay. I'm trusting you, right? The lab is in the old Forley fish packing plant on the waterfront in South Boston. Sounds like a dumb place for a secret chem lab. Oh, yeah. What about if the place is overrun by feral ghouls, which don't even look twice in my all ghoul crew? Pretty slick. But I assume that's not the end of it. You assume, right. The real security is a system of tripwires that have to be triggered in exactly the right order to open the door to the lab. You never even know the lab was there when the door is closed. Sounds like a pretty secure operation. You better believe it. And if Cook hadn't been such a backstabbing son of a bitch, nobody would have ever cracked it. There's a terminal that will bypass the tripwires and open the door to the lab. And I have the password. So, I have your promise, right? If I give you the password, you let me walk? And you promised to not tell Morowski that I had anything to do with this? Screw you. I already gave you more than enough. I'm out of here.
are mine now!
just happened. Over here! Whoa. Crazy stuff going down at that old lunatic asylum up north. 